Sinkholes are destructive and dramatic and they can lead to a pretty bad day. A large sinkhole has closed a major road in Canada's capital, Ottawa. Now the couple scrambled out of the hole and knocked on a nearby door for help. A massive sinkhole at least 25 feet wide and several feet deep. A gaping sinkhole has closed Collins Street to traffic and trams. A giant sinkhole has opened up in the Italian city of Naples, swallowing cars, road signs and trees. But as you can see, it is back and there is currently no project scheduled to fill it back in. And it's a literal hole in the ground. I can see how, particularly if it's your car that's gotten swallowed, it's not so fun. But there is one place where this is not the case. Mount Gambier is the second biggest town in South Australia, home to around 30,000 people. And according to TripAdvisor, its number one tourist attraction is a sinkhole. I'm at the Umphiston sinkhole in South Australia. And this is a remarkable geological formation, which has transformed into a beautiful park. Now when people think of sinkholes, they normally think of some kind of disaster, a car or a house just vanishing. But this is different. The sinkhole is a public park on the edge of town and it really is a quiet oasis. Its use as a garden and where it gets its name dates back to the 1880s, when its then owner James Umphiston transformed it into a garden and a place of interest for the who's who of the area. And back then it was called the Caves and attracted hundreds of people to come and visit it. So in the late 1800s, Umphiston actually used this area to escape the heat during the summer. And this area behind me would be filled with water and boats would be on here so different visitors and guests could see the sinkhole from different vantage points. So what is a sinkhole? Well, water is often a key factor and essentially pockets of water forms under the ground and erodes the bedrock before the land above falls through. Now in cities and urban places, they're often due to construction, leaking underwater pipes or even mine shafts. Now the Umphiston sinkhole is a naturally forming one, however, and it's due to the type of rock in this part of the country. And the sinkhole's been forming for 40 million years or so, and it's made of limestone rock and is around 20 metres by 50 metres. And there's a statue in the park which alludes to this kind of formation. And over the years, the land was passed from owner to owner and eventually fell into a state of disrepair and was even used as a rubbish dump. The water levels reduced and the lake dried up. And it wasn't until 1970 that it was decided to transform it, something that would take huge effort. And it took thousands of hours of volunteer labour to bring it up to the condition that it's in now, putting in the plants, clearing the land and even installing some barbecues. And in 1994, the area was given over to the Mount Gambier government, who are responsible for maintaining it today. And an ABC documentary found the people that were responsible for that initial work. We had as many as 50 working down there for Saturdays and Sundays. People out of the mill and the townspeople, and we come down to find all sorts of things. But it was no garden or anything like that. There's nothing like it is today. Well, we started off, Ken wanted to have a very pretty garden. So we put some lovely roses in. They lasted 24 hours. The possums ate them as fast as we planted them. Okay. And then we, we thought we'd plant something else. And the same thing happened. And eventually, Ken said, well, what about hydrangeas? And the possums didn't eat those. There are some other spectacular sinkholes around the world, and sinkholes that occur offshore are known as blue holes and can make for some stunning dive sites, like this famous one in Belize. But this one is different. It was a combination of nature and human effort to transform it into the secret garden that it is today. And I think that's a great reminder how a bit of effort can transform something into something beautiful. I'm Julian O'Shea. I hope you enjoyed this. If so, please do share. That's it from me. I'm at the Umphison, Umphison, Umphison sinkhole. Umphison, Umphison. <laughs> Umphiston. <clears throat> How do you say Umphiston, Kaylee? Umphiston? <laughs>